Hey, what's going on? Hope you're having an amazing day. I want to welcome you to this episode. And in this episode specifically, we're going to be discussing the difference between a handmade cowboy boot and a manufactured cowboy boot. Uh, there's also a bunch of different other things that people don't talk about, and that's the made-to-order, made-to-measure, uh, custom cowboy boots. Um, and, you know, in my personal experience, and this is coming from us, you know, knowing how to make cowboy boots is coming from us uh, selling cowboy boots and knowing a lot of people that are in the cowboy boot business. Uh, there's a lot of things that people don't really realize when making cowboy boots. You know, there's a whole thing with, you know, manufactured right what really what what does it mean when the cowboy boot is manufactured um, and before I get into it if you haven't already subscribed to the channel be sure you subscribe to the channel be sure you like this video and be sure you hit the bell uh, notification that way every single time we upload a video you're notified and you keep up with these videos um, because and also what that will do is that'll send the algorithm through the YouTube algorithm to, so everybody else in the world of the YouTube land can see these videos because I mean you know this 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 is information that I would have loved to see there's people who talk about a lot of stuff but they talk about it from a different perspective see myself I grew up on a horse ranch so I know what it's like to have a good pair of cowboy boots I know what it's like to have a pair that you know will fall apart in six months I know what it's like to have a pair that'll last you 10 15 20 years uh, because I've got both of them or I've had both of them. I don't have the one the last six months. I don't wear those anymore. But, you know, I have experience from all sides of the spectrum, especially, you know, growing up on a horse ranch, training horses, you needed a good pair of boots, especially if you're going to be in them 14, 16 hours a day. And so I bring you my perspective from a working rancher perspective, right? Um, you know, from a, a perspective where your boots are your tools. They're not your. They're not a fashion statement. They're a, they're tools that are used every day. They might be you know great fashionable, uh, fashionable, um, you know, footwear and stuff like that. But for the most part, there are things that are tools that are get used every single day. Anyway. If you do that for me, I'd really appreciate it. We're trying to get this channel up to about a thousand subscribers, um, and so everything that uh, you do for the channel, the support, I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Um, stay tuned till the end because we're going to be talking about something special that's coming um, in or that's happening soon, and I want you to be a part of that as well. Um, but anyway, let's talk about some handmade boots and the difference between manufactured boots. Now, all this that we're talking about is my personal opinion, and it'll always be from my opinion based on my training knowledge and experience everybody has their own beliefs about what something is and about what something should be or what should something be called right in this particular space of the cowboy boot world there's no uh defined things right everybody has their own opinion about different things and this is strictly my opinions uh, you may agree with them you may disagree but that's up to you to decide anyway so a completely manufactured cowboy boot are going to be your boots mostly or mainly manufactured in China, manufactured in Vietnam, excuse me, Taiwan, Indonesia, wherever, right? That's typically where you see your lowest quality uh, output from those companies. Um, and, not, and I'm not saying the specific companies because so there's a lot of companies that will produce a good boot, but when they have their boots manufactured in China, Taiwan, Indonesia, Korea, whatever, Vietnam, the quality of the boot goes down tremendously. And that's why I always recommend people get your boots either made in the USA or Mexico because that's where you're going to find um, the best quality boots for your money. All right, so what I would consider a manufactured boot is going to be a cowboy boot that is completely made and finished using machines. Now, I know that's a little loose, but uh, hear me out for a sec. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> on a shoe repair shop or a a, a, even a custom boot shop, right? When somebody gets their shoes done or gets their shoes repaired or gets their shoes uh, um, boots done or whatever, right? You have to use specific machines to either stitch the boot or the shoe, you know, to either stitch the soles, uh, stitch the tops, uh, put all the, you know, the, the stitching on the boot in general. And so one of the things that you have to realize is that the person using those machines are using their hands, right? Now, in a manufactured space, they still use machines as well. The only difference is those specific machines finish the boots. 
and they could be finished in multiple different aspects and and whatever but the main thing is like for example if you get your boots made in mexico and this could vary obviously from company to company but what i've noticed is a, a complete manufactured boot is going to be lasted with a machine right that means the machine pinches the the uppers of the boot and then push pulls them or pushes them down and then wraps them around and then at that point you know some tacks will go into it and then they, they sit there to dry and then they continue to the next process right a boot that's handmade is going to be passed on to somebody who then puts them on a last by hand they sit there and they fold each piece by the ball you know the the toe the balls of the foot the heel and then they start lasting the boot around right that's a handmade boot it's lasted by hand okay and so another thing that we need to look at is like the stitching obviously a lot of the stitching um, it's going to have to be done with the machine, especially if you're making large quantities because, I mean, you have to be able to keep up with demand. But either it's either done by hand or it's done with a machine, right? But the person still guides the machine through the wilting process. Um, and there's machines that do that automatically as well, okay? Um, another big one is like the, you know, stitching the soles and stitching everything. Yeah, you can do it by hand. Um, and if somebody who's like, you know, doing, you know, completely super high-end bespoke boots and selling for fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 are probably doing it by hand. But most people use an outsole stitcher if they're traditionally Goodyear welted boots. And that's okay because it takes skill to run those machines. And I know this for a fact because we use these machines on a daily basis. So I'm not, ta I'm not you know, I'm not talking out my ass here, okay? So a lot of these machines require a lot of skill to be able to operate. Unlike if you boots were mass produced, manufactured, whatever, the machines do all the work. You just have to know how to press the button and put the boot in the right place. And that to me is what differentiates the difference between a manufactured boot and a handmade boot. And like I said, typically your handmade boots are going to be a little more up there on the price range, but in the long run, they're worth it. Now, different manufacturers are going to use different materials of the build. Um, we just kind of going over basically the manufacturer, the 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 way that the boots are made. That's pretty much what we've been talking about this whole time. So if we take that and break it down as far as materials go, I mean, you can go into different things, but this video is not about quality. It's specifically talking about manufacturing, right? And again, you may be just you may disagree with everything I just said. That's completely fine. That's your opinion. Um, you know, this is just my opinion based on my training, knowledge, and experience, and. Um, I respect your opinion if you don't agree with me. Uh, so, you know, that's that's a good thing that we can kind of get into each other and kind of listen to each other and figure out what somebody else thinks because that's what life is about. So anyway, that's my opinion on manufactured boots as well as handmade cowboy boots. And so obviously there's so many different aspects of, you know, you can get them custom made, you can get them made to order, you can have them uh, made to measure because made to measure and custom boots are two different things. You can have custom boots, but they're not made to measure made to measure boots you can have them custom made right so there's so many different intricacies that a lot of people don't think about when it comes to cowboy boots and how they're made but i'm hoping that with this video you can have you have some sort of a little bit more of an insight as to how that works um, in the future we're going to be doing more videos uh going more in debt as to what i was just talking about you know manufactured made to order and just so you can have a better understanding as to how that works because i want you to be more knowledgeable about where your boots come from um, I love my boots and I love uh, I love our boot company as well and I want you to understand what's inside your boots so that you know what to buy next time and speaking of that right it's speaking it's speaking um, speaking of that we are in the process of launching our very own boot company and one of the things that we're doing is we're going to be making boots the right way right using traditional methods ensuring uh, quality ensuring durability ensuring longevity for many years to come and uh, because we're, we're quite frankly we're tired of uh, seeing all this trash that a lot of these companies are producing they're telling you they're doing one thing but in reality that they're doing something different um, they say that you know they're using leather footbeds in reality they're not um, they're using stack leather heel bases in reality they're not they're cheating you out of your money they're cheating you out of uh, of quality that could be going into the boot simply to save a few extra dollars um, you know usually companies start out doing really good work and eventually as they get bigger they get larger they start cheating out 
um, people, in, uh, you know, of money and start cheating them out of quality. And we don't want to do that. We want to make sure that everybody is in the right place. We want to make sure everybody is doing the right thing. And uh, because we love cowboy boots and we're passionate about cow- cowboy boots, I mean, come on, we make boots um, as well. Um, not only do we sell them, but like I said, I was, grew up on a horse ranch, and so boots is one of those things where you want to make sure you got you have a good pair. And so we decided because of all the customers that we had coming into our store, you know, asking about boot companies, what would we recommend, and all this and that. And a lot of the boot companies that we were we would recommend. Um, are nowhere near where we're from and not only that um, they were so backed up with orders because there's not very many companies making good boots these days Um, and I'm talking about like in 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 quantities not uh, in quantities and so you know we decided we were like hey you know instead of having people buy you know five six seven eight ten pairs of cowboy boots we'll do the work for them of finding a good pair of boots uh, what we would believe or what we would consider to be a great pair of boots for the price and we'll just provide it to their customers and every customer that we've spoken to or people that we've spoken to that we know um, or that we've been able to get in touch with have all said the same thing they were like yeah we would love to support um, that because it's something that is needed and one of the things that we went out and searched for is instead of going out to big companies, instead of going out to people who, uh, these mass produ- production companies, we actually went out and sought out small small shops. You know, people who maybe can only do maybe five, ten pair a week. Um, you know, just small family-owned shops that can produce the boots for us the way we want them to be produced. Because at that point, if they're that small, it'd be easier for us to get in touch with the people in charge and making sure that we can uphold the quality standards of boots and so so yeah so down below this video or down below in the description or whatever there's going to be a link to the uh, page that's going to allow you to be a part of the waiting list okay now for those of you that sign up for the waiting list if you decide to sign up for the waiting list i hope you do um, you need to um, you're going to be getting a free gift uh, from us and so once we get all that together once we get stuff like that together we'll be shipping all that stuff out but what you need to do is when you get in, one thing that I would suggest doing is getting a, um, uh, make sure it's going to ask you for an email and then a phone number. Click on the button that says uh, get text messages because most likely what we'll do is we'll send you a text message when we get ready to launch, or when we get ready to uh, send out the free gifts. Because what will happen is um, people are a lot of times don't even open up their uh, emails anymore and so we'll text you as soon as we're ready to get everything launched and so you can get your your free gift for just for signing up for the um, for the special launch here and you know the people who jump on board and just sign up it's free to sign up by the way it's not nothing um, you know y'all have first access to whenever we decide to do anything and so with that being said thank you so much for watching this video um, don't hesitate to comment down below with some other videos, some topics that you may want to listen to, uh, some of the things that you may have questions on. I know somebody in another video commented they wanted a specific, um, they actually listed some things that they wanted to, us to talk about. So we'll put that in our list and we'll we'll do a video on it. We'll talk about it. I want to do more videos in the shop, but this is the busiest season for us. And so we're all, I'm all over the place. I'm at the shop. I'm at a home shop. I'm on you know, running errands, going to the bank, doing different things. And so um, it's super busy for us this time of the year, and which we're very blessed that it is. But we also want to be able to serve you. We want to give you information so that you can make the right decision. So click the link below. It's going to be like a bit.ly link, and it's going to take you to the, the website where you can sign up for the waiting list for our boot company that we'll be launching here soon. Boots made the right way. It's going to be boots that work as hard as you, boots that, um, um, that are you know, they're stout, they're made the right way. So click the link below and I'll see you on the inside. And I'll, well, I'll know whenever you, uh, cause I have it saved up to where I can get it messages every time somebody signs up for the, uh, um, the waiting list. So I'll see you on the inside and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.